Hi, I'm, I'm Peter Bowler, a faculty member in ecology and evolutionary biology here at UCI. I'm the director of the UCI Arboretum, the faculty director of our marsh, and the curator of our herbarium. Uh, I've been here since about 1970, and historically the early desire of the campus was to get things growing fast, looking beautiful, uh, and at that time there wasn't a concern about things like water that we have today. We have an obligation to preserve and sustain these state-owned plants that are used for teaching and research and as a resource and a sort of cultural enjoyment point, but at the same time we're doing our very best to keep water usage at an absolute minimum. This, about a month ago, was a green turf area. Water is turned off. We're also removing large trees that are water-loving trees. We have a lot of uh, drought-resistant vegetation. These plants uh, become dormant during the dry season. So right now, we're watering them very little. And as the summer progresses, just as our local hills, this area will become more and more brown. The whole campus is going xeriscape. We're uh, deep into getting away from turf and using plants that uh, preferably are native but at least use little water. Right now it is a parched landscape. Usually we would have water levels over the top of those stakes out there, but because there's so little water in San Diego Creek right now, we've had to ramp back our water diversion into the marsh, and uh, as a result, things are very stressed. We're trying to cope with these challenges uh, in creative ways. Using integrity and working with municipalities and ecologists, I can easily see how there can be uh, uh, a not completely downside to this drought by encouraging addition, additional sort of drought resistant xeriscape approaches.